Hello and welcome to the video. In this video, we will go through step three of the walkthrough tutorial series of SAP UI5 documentation. Step three talks about controls in SAP UI5. Controls are used to define appearances and behavior of parts of the screen. In the earlier walkthrough, walkthrough tutorials, we have seen that we use the body tag of the HTML document to display hello world text on the screen. Now in this tutorial, we will make use of sap.m.text control to display the same hello world text on the screen. You can go ahead and download the code for this tutorial from this link and import it in your local ID. I will be using Visual Studio code for that. This is our index.html file. In this file, we can see that we have the script tag, which we know that it is being used for bootstrapping of the SAP UI5 library. And we also set some other attributes in this script tag to define what libraries we need in our application. In the data SAP UI on init attribute, we mention that which module needs to be initialized from the index.html file. Now coming to the changes which have been done in this file as compared to the previous step, we can see that the class attribute has been added to the body with SAP UI body class name. This class adds additional theme dependent styles for displaying SAP UI5 applications. We also have the attribute ID added here with the value content. We will make use of this attribute value to place our SAP UI5 control in the body section of this HTML document. Now we come to the index.js file where the sap.m.text control is getting instantiated and a new object of this control is getting instantiated and it is getting placed at content. Content here refers to the ID which is associated with the body of our HTML document page. This piece of code in the index.js file will be triggered on the init event from the index.html file in the callback function of this init event we instantiate the SAP UI5 control. The name of the control is prefixed with the namespace of its control library. The control library name is SAP M and text is the control name. When we are creating a new object for this particular control, we set the attribute text with the value hello world and we chain this constructor call to this standard method place at. This method is used to place SAP UI5 controls inside the body of our HTML document. So these are the two changes which are needed to display the hello world text on the screen by using the text control from the SAP.m library. Now let us go to the application in Visual Studio Code and we will run it locally and see the code in action. This is the index.html file with the required changes and this is the index.js file. To run this application locally, we need some prerequisite steps which I already have done in my application. We need this manifest.json file. We need some changes in the ui5.yml file. We can see here that we have mentioned sap.m library and we have also mentioned this library in the data sap ui lips attribute of the script tag in the index.html file. We are clearly mentioning that we need sap.m library to be loaded in our application because we are using the text control from the sap.m library. To run this application, we will execute this command ui5 serve. And we can see that the application is running locally in our system.
In this screen, we'll click on index.html. And we can see the hello world text here on the screen. So this is all about step three in the walkthrough tutorial series, where we talk about controls and how do we include SAP UI5 controls in our application. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, we will go through step four of the walkthrough tutorial about XML views. Thank you and have a nice day.